REF is always trying to review, assess, and improve its own internal processes for providing solutions to soldiers in a rapid manner. We look to industry not only for emerging technologies, but for the best practices that we can use to help keep the R rapid in the rapid equipping force. The concept of co-creation allows the soldier to participate in a community to solve challenges. It makes them a part of the solution set. I believe co-creation is accessing the community of soldiers, industry, and academia to develop any idea further than if it hadn't received outside collaboration. What's meaningful about co-creation to the soldier, in the battlefield especially, is you are working with their input, starting with their challenges, and you're asking them, what is it that you need to solve? You're giving them the ideas that they have as an initial solution set, and then you are working with those back and forth with the group that had the problem initially in order to be able to come quickly to a set of solutions that they can judge and evaluate in a theater of operations. Particularly valuable in industries where good solutions need to be found in a time-critical manner. And that, after all, is the definition of an environment that a soldier works in. The Rapid Equipping Force learned of local motors during their work on the XC2V combat support vehicle. We were extremely impressed by their ability to design and create a vehicle in less than six months. Of course, the REF wanted to see if we could take the lessons learned from that project and the lessons learned from co-creation and bring it to a new level in providing rapid solutions for soldiers. Today, we're trying to be a different way of approaching problems. We at Local Motors are trying to say, because challenges change and come at you so fast, the solution provider needs to be able to read those challenges and give multiple robust solutions to those challenges as they come up. You can have the best team in the world, and, uh, but the minute you define that team as a, as a fixed set of people, you've just made your skill set static. The thing about a community is that that adaptation, instead of it being, well, I hope I have this guy who is enough of a genius that he can basically flex from one challenge to the next, now you, you could have any number of different people that if you set it up right, the right people basically get attracted to the right problem. And now you've got a team that is fully dynamic and flexible, so you just have to have your techniques down for getting the word out to the people for whom that challenge will really, you know, uh, tickle in the right way. Soldiers are living and breathing the fight day in and day out, so they have the best ideas for new capabilities and technology to solve their most urgent challenges. We need to create a means for connecting those ideas to the people who can make innovations a reality. The co-creation platform allows a soldier to enter into a community of like-minded individuals who want to solve soldier-level problems. Nobody knows the problem better than soldiers who've been there and done it. Their experience is invaluable. Once the community starts to design a solution, the soldier can be there every step of the way, refining that solution set. We know that crowdsourcing works. We know that co-creation works. We want to harness this in order to use this in the REF process in the future.